Nope, we got some people in here. Nebraska Wildcats, Avid, Robbie. He said I was at that spot. Country Boy, Surf Fins, Big Mike. What's going on, Country Boy? These folks are kissing. Stop kissing, Hook. It's a family show. Sampy, Wayne, what's going on? Judy Booty. Yeah, instead of going, uh, doing a regular show tonight, Anna and I are out here fishing. I'll show you her in the back of the boat. There she is. She's catching bait, and I'm baiting up. Our bait of choice tonight, we got cut bluegill. Freshly caught. And we got some cherry chicken, Kool-Aid chicken. What's up, Chavez? Mad Catter? We're also going to put on some live baits. What's going on, Fox Hunter? Miss Sharon? Nelson? He's mad. Got some live bait going on too. Mr. Tully, Michael Williams. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> well that clicker was on hands doing good hands doing real good thanks for asking <laughs> you got skunk today oh I'm sorry bow fishing falcon hopefully that won't happen to us yeah we're just starting here tonight um, so that we can catch some bait while we're fishing yeah oops clicker I do have a two-piece rod with me. I have Anna's chunky rod. <laughs> so pray for me. Here we go.
All right, we're fishing. What's up, Re Realville, Carolina Cat? No, we just went live. Just now went live. You are here at the onset. Just went live. I just cast out the rods. Anna's back here fishing for brim and stump knockers and shell cracker. I brought the nurse with me, yeah. <laughs> hey, Lee Reed, how you doing? Anna's back here. Montrez, what's going on? Oh, Montez, Montez, not Trez. What's up, Costello, Realville? Ernie, Josh, yes, happy Memorial Day weekend. Thank you to all of you who served, and uh, obviously we want to remember those who have paid the ultimate price. I've heard that pretty much all day. You'll hear it tomorrow, too, and it's a blessing each time to hear it, so. Catfish Regulators, A.A. Ron is in the house. A.A. Ron. So, yeah, we're, um, instead of doing a live show tonight at house, um, we're out just out here fishing. We'll fish till the show's supposed to be over, and then we go home. <laughs> yes, thank you, Chavez. Robbie's been trying to go live on his grandparents' dock. He's been having bad service. We just passed Robbie on the way out here. He was on, on the way back, I guess, from fishing with his grandparents. It's a little chillier today. Overcast. Last night was all right. Yeah, I didn't get to tune in. Oh, yeah, last night was all right. <laughs> I saw Big Mike was live last night. Thanks, Eric. I saw you were live. I came in, hit the thumbs up, but I didn't say anything, man. I was so tired yesterday. I pretty much sweated all day. You're having problem with vid? Make sure you check the uh, the three little dots on your screen. Make sure you're you're on 720 resolution. Everybody else, I think, is looking good, isn't it? Yeah, at the top right of your screen, there's three little dots. There you go. He said he got it. All right. Yup. <laughs> Chunky Cats is in the house. Chunky. Five by five. Thank you, sir, Fins. I'm listening. Well, watch. <laughs> we just got here. We have one live. Just got you. It's just internet. I got you. Make sure everybody hits the thumbs up. We got 23 thumbs up, but we got 41 people in here. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. We just cast in, so if you're coming in, we, we've only been streaming for 10 minutes. Basically just baited up and threw in. We have cherry Kool-Aid chicken, and we have um, brim, and we have a live brim on the blue cat rod over here. We're basically starting off back here in this cove. It's not been a hot spot, but Anna's up back here in the back. Well, she's eating snacks right now. Don't scratch my green rod. <laughs> but she's catching brim in the back. She's caught three already, right off the bat. Three bucks, boom! Thanks, Big Mike, for starting off the Super Chats tonight. Appreciate that. Loud and clear here in the Blue Ridge. What's going on, Tim? Where's he at? Where you at in the Blue Ridge? Anna wants to know. Oh no, not chicken. I've tried it, but no luck. Yeah, we we have lots of luck with chicken out here. My PB came on a fresh piece of chicken. What's up, Norm? Norm said hello, Anna Banana. What's up, Norm? She said, "What's up, Norm?" Norm. 
Yes, boom. I appreciate those super chats. Whew, trying to close out May here with a boom. We got um we got the super cat kayak challenge on Friday. So that's what we'll be we'll be trying to get that pumped up this week. Make sure everybody's aware. Spread awareness. <laughs> What's up, Josh? What's up, Gadget? Let's see. There's 38 people in right now. Good to see you too, Josh. Mr. Gadget said, What's up, smoking hot wife? Here's somebody's dogs over there causing a ruckus. Should be perfect, perfect situation right now for a monster to 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 hit it. It's overcast. The powerhouse is is making current up at the top of the river. The tide is going out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get back to get back to bait. Boom, Avid, two bucks. He said, "Keep up the good work." Thank you, Avid. I'm not sure who Avid's guest is tonight, but make sure y'all check him out. As soon as we stop going live, Avid, unless he's not having a show, he should be going live. Nice evening fish. Yes, it is, Douglas. Thank you. We up to five dollars in thirteen minutes. That's all right, right there. I don't care what they say about you. Fins and finds, Bob. I saw you live this morning, man. Y'all did a great job on stand day. You and P City Glizzy. <laughs> Are you coming to the Upstate this year, Tim? I've already made one trip. I went up to a Patriots tournament up on Lake Wiley, and then I'll be up there again in August for the Grand Slam tournament. If ever, Lord willing, last year I was I was ready to go and I got COVID. Sucked. <laughs> Boom! One buck. Yes, make it drizzle, sprinkle. Thank you, Mike Chavez. Uh, we did get a storm last night. Yes, we did. Yep, pretty good one, in fact. Let's see. Hey, oh, we got to fish the Grand Slam together. Sure, man. I'm down for that, little Robbie. We should get the crew back together. We should get Squirrel to go, too. Squirrel. Everybody's saying hey to each other. Hooks and Hammocks is in the house. Big Mike said he should be there. Nice. I don't, I'm not sure what day it is. It's in August. He has a Facebook page. Jeff Manning's Grand Slam. Yeah, Norm, I heard Kentucky was getting slammed with some cold weather. Unseasonably cold weather. Boom! $4.99, Sir Fims. Boom! Realville Catfish in 99 cents. Yes! Thank y'all so much. Now I can afford more snacks for Anna. Snack for she says she's gonna eat all the snacks. Oh the snacks. H and H. Avid, who's your guest tonight? Do y'all have a guest? Yeah, it's it's chilly here today. Earlier it said it was in the sixties, but man, it felt like fifties to me. But it's gonna feel like that when you go from uh, when you go from 92 degrees <laughs> to 60 degrees, it's gonna feel a lot colder. Oh, I thought was going for the lowest bid, Realville. That's fine with me. I'm cool with 99 cents. Don't bother me. Band Aid fun. Yep. <laughs> Fins and Fines is your guest. All right. Or are you saying hello to Fins and Fines? I don't know. I must have missed it. What's up, Flat Rock? Relaxing frustrations. Cheers, Kevin. Nice live show. Thank you. We got Anna in the back for y'all just coming in. She's back there reeling in the brimskis. 
She's catching the. There. Oh, you missed it. You looked at the camera. Boom! 499 Realville coming back with the 499. Motor red. All right. Anna's all upset now. She's sucking her teeth. Cause she looked at the camera instead of instead of focusing on the fish. Mmm. Starstruck. She's starstruck. <laughs> She's my bait catcher. Country boy catfishing is my guest. Awesome. That is a fat worm. I joke a little bit. No worries. I joke a little bit too. Hopefully everybody's getting to enjoy their family this weekend. We had some family come in. Uh, my uncle came in from, uh, uh, shoot, Massachusetts. My aunt and cousin came in from charlotte area and his girlfriend we went out on the boat yesterday we went out at like three o'clock and it was hot super hot sweating all day man and then we went put the boat up and then went to my mom's for dinner with all them we had some some ribs smoked ribs and and uh yeah my mom's really got into smoking things here recently she's the pit master She's really good, too. We had some pulled pork and some ribs. I'll be working here as Bike Week in Myrtle Beach. Oh, yeah. By the way, Costello, I'm not sure if Laura told you or you heard me say, but I'll be in Myrtle Beach on the 20th of June. Is that is that your forte? Uh, no, I'm not any good at... I mean, I don't know. I've never tried smoking anything. I've been getting great comments on my new logo, Kevin. You did a great job. Well, I'm glad you like it, man. I'm glad you like it. Thanks for the support of my little business, too. Making logos. Oh, there he is. Come on, honey. Look at that drag, y'all. Did y'all hear that? Don't knock the thing over. Come on. I got to keep it tight. It's a big one. Real. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. We got a good one on, y'all. Did y'all hear that drag? I'm going to go get the net. Don't lose him. I won't. Keep the tension on him. Blue cat rod. Blue cat rod. Where's Chris Flores? We got the blue cat rod. Look at her fight him. Look at her fight him. Trying to play tricks. Ooh, that's... There he is. What is he? Uh, the blue cat. Yeah, blue. Nice one. Ooh, he's got a big head. Oh, he's mad. All right, keep him in the water. He's a rolling. He's got a big old got noggin. It. Good job. Ooh. Pound. Oh, yeah. Pound it. <laughs> he's got a pretty big head. What, He's actually out? not that big, no, y'all. He felt a lot bigger. <laughs> he, he just fought like, like a champ. Yeah. Man, he fought like a champ. <laughs> Maybe. That's a good one, though. Yeah, it is a good one. It's probably about 15 pounds. You got to get a net off its pins and stuff. Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> he slammed it. Chicken. Oh. Oh. I was on bluegill. Don't go back in the water yet. Get this net out the way. He's pretty good size. He's got a good belly on him. And it's a quality fish all day. Oh, hooks through the side of his face. It's a quality fish. You want to get the hook out or you want me to get it? I'll try it. Okay. All right, she's going to try to do the whole thing, y'all. I love hearing that drag. Did y'all hear that? Zzzz. It was set a little light. I'm, I'm going to admit, it was set a little light. 
But he slammed it like a he slammed it like a big one, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He's so rotate it. Yeah, rotate it out. <laughs> she trying to get it out. All right, real Phil. Thanks for the dono. Thanks for coming in and saying hey. She trying. She trying to get that hook out. She said it's stuck in there pretty good. That's them catfish hooks, man. They don't play. They do not play. Here, let me get it. Twist the pliers. Try not to. Here you do it. Keep going back in. Mm -hmm. Back in there pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hand me those um those grips. In here? Oh, right. Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, take the rod out and bring them up over. There's the hook. There you go, put that around your wrist. If you start spinning, just let go of the um let go of the grippers. Alright, here it is. Pretty good one. Where's He's your phone? Heavy. It's in my bag, where my snacks are. <laughs> this one's not too grunty. He's heavy. All right, get a picture. Come on, two, three, got him. Got him. All right, everybody see it? There you go. That's my smoking hot wife with her, the first fish of the night. We're gonna put him over here on the side. How do I do it with the grippers? Is there a button? Nope, you just like spread the handle open. But if he starts to roll, just that's around your wrist. Let him spin with the grippers or else he'll, he'll break your wrist. Or the, or the grippers probably first. Just turn them sideways. He's biting down. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Peace out. Nice job. Slime. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I've caught all the fish so far. You have caught every fish. <laughs> every fish in this boat today. <laughs> Everybody's saying great job, Anna. Great job. Great yeah. job. Alright, let's get it back out there. Come catch more bait. And that was on the bait you caught. Oh, cool. So you caught the bait and, and you caught fish. the catfish. Uh -huh. So that's awesome. cut one the live one's over here on the other blue cat rod what's up, what's up squirrel it's big hook what's going on actually no that wasn't um that that was cherry chicken y'all <laughs> that was not because i had them i had bluegill chicken bluegill chicken so that was that was actually cherry jello chicken <laughs> well everybody in chat was probably like no not the chicken <laughs> that's funny 
Yep, skunked off the boat. Sorry to disappoint, y'all. Sorry to disappoint. That was not... Uh, Chris, you just missed it. Anna just caught the fish and maybe you didn't, but that fish just hit the blue cat rod. So I, to keep order of the bait, yeah. <laughs> to keep an order of the bait, I did bluegill, chicken, bluegill, chicken, bluegill, chicken, all the way around. And that was um, this cherry. Cherry Kool-Aid chicken right there. Chicken wins again. <laughs> Flores in the house. The blue cat rod has struck first. So yeah, Costello, I was I was saying, sorry. I'll be in Myrtle Beach on June twentieth. For an administrative conference. What's up, Epic? Yeah, man. Thanks for coming in. Glad you got to see the um, um, the fish. No, that was not. That's not. That's not cherry uh, Jello. That was cherry Kool Aid. Cherry Kool Aid. We got 71 people in here. Hit the thumbs up. What's up, Sunfish? We got some sun fishing going back here. Anna's back here catching the beat. Yeah, every time she looks at the camera, one takes the bobber down. <laughs> What's up, Larry and Amy and Cody? So that didn't take long. That was uh, about 25 minutes. 25 minutes into the stream, we got the first fish. Hoping for more. But that was a great takedown, though. Awesome takedown. Telling you, them teener fish around here. What's up, Georgia? Them teener fish around here, man, they don't play. They are worth their weight. Mm hmm. They fight horde. I do have a live bluegill. What's up, Kelly? Kevin, if we can, let's try to go fishing. Yeah, I'm, I'm already going to hook up with Lori. Oh, you got a bite. Oh. Man, yeah, I've already talked to Lori. She's down pretty much all my whole day. What's up, Nathan? What's up, Mastermind? My whole day until about three o'clock is pretty much conference. But after that, Anna usually goes with me, but we've had so many. What's up, FLL Fox? Good to see you, man. Big country. We just got one about five minutes ago. We just put him back. But uh, Anna usually goes, but we've been tripping so much this year. She didn't have, she didn't want to get any more uh, vacation time. Uh oh, you nodded it. So I'll be stagging it this time. She usually comes down and just goes on the beach. <laughs> Got 80 people in here. Y'all hit the thumbs up. What's up, Mike Turner? Mike Turner said hello. She said hello. Heard something knocking there. Oh, it is Richard Montano, que pasa? Hmm, smash that like, yep. We got 81 people watching. We got 50 thumbs up. We got $16.97 within the first 30 minutes. Thanks, y'all. That's awesome. Como esta, Kevin? We're good, man. Um, Something just hit right here by the boat. <laughs> Probably a gar. What's up, Carolina catfish? Um, Anna just pulled in about a 10-pound catfish. Or no, it's probably about 15-pound catfish. So you go back about 10 minutes and you'll see it. It hit pretty hard. It hit like a monster. I thought she had a new PB there for a minute. <laughs> you want to bring it to me see if I can figure it out? No, 
Oh, there's line in there. It won't take long to re-rig it. Yeah, I couldn't, so I got Anna a new lighter brim buster at the store today. And uh, I couldn't find my 10-pound test line at the house. So all I had was some 10-pound braid, and I put it on there knowing it would be a bad idea. Because once it gets knotted, it's done. Richard is saying, hola from Niagara Falls. I heard about that. So when we got on the boat and I opened up my draw box, guess what I found? <laughs> my line. So well, if you just open that, um, that orange box, those snippers are in there and you can just snip off the top and grab that line. What are we using for bait? Um, well, the catfish we just caught was on Kool-Aid chicken, cherry Kool-Aid chicken, but we also have fresh bluegill that Anna is catching in the back of the boat. Back of the boat. And I have one live, one live BG on right here. No time for snacks. There is time for snacks. No, there's not. There's oh, no time for snacks. Re-rig it. I'm going to go ahead and shut it. Oh, Lord. We're never going to get any more bait, y'all. Hand it to me and I'll re-rig it. No, I'm going to do it. You don't worry about my snacks. Or you can grab that other brim buster and just fish with that one. No, I'll do it. <laughs> She's back here eating snacks. <laughs> I want one bite of snacks. <laughs> Everybody's still saying hey to each other. Hello, hello, hello. Women has to, women have to eat. Yeah. Put the camera on Anna. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, I hate this tripod. There she is. Hello. Show your show me show them your snacks. Boom! Oh, Painting yeah. services by Steve said Anna's Joey fund, $20. Hey, $20. <laughs> I got the peanut butter pretzels. I got honey grams. And she won't. Oh, I don't I think they can hear you. That. Hang on, they can't hear you. The mic's pointed at me. Yeah. Alright, now now I'll explain your snacks. <laughs> I brought too many. I got trail mix and nuts and peanut butter pretzels and honey graham bears and trail mix granola bar and gummies. That's it. What I got. I'm rigging my broad. Just having the parade on. Yes, Anna came prepared. Yeah, she's re-rigging that rod. She got it knotted up, but it's not, I mean, it's her fault it got knotted up, but it's not her fault that she couldn't get it out because I couldn't find my 10-pound. <laughs> Gummies are good bluegill bait. Yeah, everybody's saying you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to <laughs> Motor in. <laughs> yep. She says she's ready for the apocalypse. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hmm. First one came on the blue cat rod on some Kool-Aid chicken, y'all. Kool-Aid. I hadn't tried Kool-Aid chicken in over a year. I switched to Jell-O for some reason. Get off of my line. There we go. Ooh, I'm new here. Darwin Dotson. I thought, what's up, Jabria? Um, what camera are you using to record your live? It's an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Darwin, I'm new here to these live streams and I've subscribed to all I've found in the last few weeks. Fun times. Yes, we have a great time. We have a great time. So fun. Usually on Sunday nights, Anna got snacks. Kevin, what do you got? I got a drink and that's it. <laughs> I don't really eat on the boat. Unless, unless I'm planning on spending the whole day out. 
Like tomorrow I have some glizzies that I might roast up on the grill. But yeah, we got one fish so far, y'all. If you're new coming in, I'm Kevin. I got Anna, my wife on the boat. We're in South Carolina on the Cooper River. And we're not in the hottest spot I want to be right now, but Anna was catching some fish. She was catching some bait. So I knotted my braid up and she knotted, knotted the line up. And so she's having to switch out the line on it. Kevin's got the, what do you say? Kevin's got the hot wife who got snacks. That's right. I wore my catfish clothing during the tournament yesterday, but with my results, they may never want to sponsor me. <laughs> Bob, we all have those days, man. We all have those days. Much calmer than it was on the lake. Oh, hey, Keith, what's up? Yeah, I bet it was bad on the lake today. Now the wind is blowing. We're just, we're in a good little pocket here. Glizzies equal bait. I do have some glizzies for tomorrow. Well, I have food glizzies and I have, um, I have food bait glizzies, bait and food glizzies. Do you still catch them during the spawn? Yeah, yeah, I still catch them. I've really not had too much time with the spawn. Problem with the spawn. What's up, Philip? Boulder Red. Yeah, what's up, Brian B? Yeah, apparently a, a bunch of people had enough with the river and the lake today because when we got to the boat ramp, there was hardly anybody there. Now, yesterday I took my, my uncle and my aunt out. What's up, Hill Jack? Um, took my uncle and aunt out and all that. And, uh, man, there were so many people. So many people. We got blocked in to our parking spot. And we had to do some creative maneuvering to get out of there. Some guy, Cypress Gardens. Um, some guy pulled his boat up and didn't, didn't hook it up and... His boat slid off the trailer, so we went over there and tried to get his boat back on the trailer. Uh, go to the end of the pole. So fully extend it and go to the end of the pole. I missed, uh, let's see. Did you buy some vicious fish? Yeah, I have vicious fishing line. That fish that just got caught right there. Vicious is on that one, and it's on the other blue cat rod. Um, it's It looks a lot thinner. It looks a lot thinner than my... Andy Monster, so we'll see. What's happening for Easley SC? What's going on, man? I think you meant from Scott. So what's up, dude? We chilling, we chilling. We got one one cat. You about to get all tangled up again. I got it under Okay. I'm not gonna say what's up, trophy? Randy Beck, what's going on, brother? Instead of the live show tonight, we decided to come out and fish. Anna's been wanting to do a, a, a night live stream with me. I bought 30. 30 pound test. Yeah, go a little bit beyond like a foot below it and then cut it off. Can't wait to see the results with that line. Yeah. Somebody, somebody messaged me, or I think it was Cody, said that he didn't care for it too much. We'll see. We'll see. It doesn't look that thick. Like slime line, whenever whenever you see a single strand, it's really bright green, and this stuff isn't. But when it's spooled up, it looks bright green. You did a great job. Now that wind's picking up, that wind needs to die back down. It was a great deal. That's why that's why I was like, well, it's worth trying it. I mean, I should have bought a smaller spool though. I don't think I should have bought the 1 pound, but in my mind I was like, well, excuse me. I'm almost at a slime line and I'm going to need line. Uh, but I bought a pound of stuff that I've never tested before. So, we'll see. <laughs> that was only 20 bucks. 
We need another takedown. It's almost 25 minutes again. If you just got in, Anna caught a 25 pound, or not 25, a 15 pound catfish in 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Running slime line. Yep, yep, yep. Mad Cat's braid is okay. Okay. I don't really care for braid too much. There's not as much room for error. I think you pretty much have to be a professional to use braid, and I'm not a professional. <laughs> I am not a professional. I just play one on TV. Man, we need another takedown like that last one. What's up, Maurice? Chavez, you use braid? That's because you're a professional, man. You're a professional. I only use braid mostly when I bull drum fish. Okay, cool. So, yeah, usually I go live on Sunday nights from the house and we have some kind of topic or interview or tournament. And tonight we're just taking it easy. Uh, I'm off tomorrow. Anna's not, but she don't, she don't have to wake up early. Um... So we're just coming out here and just, uh, you know, chilling. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Got 81 people watching. 70 thumbs up. 36.97 is Super Chats. Motor Red. Chilling like a villain, says the fishing chick. You like the Andy and Berkeley Chrome Prospect. I cool. Did you did it. By myself. By yourself. Now lock those, lock those. There you go. You know I'm prone to injury, so. <laughs> I did you notice I got some of those butterfly band-aids? Mm-hmm. How was church today? It was very sad. Church today was very sad. Our lead pastor, it was his last Sunday preaching. He's moving to Los Angeles. You forgot to put the bobber on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She was so, now just cut it off right at the hook. Don't cut it any higher. She was so happy and and proud of herself. And I'm pr I mean, she did the hard parts. What's up, Brittany M? Yes, that's a chunky rod right there. I did all the parts. Yep. She did, she did everything. She um, tied the hook on, put the weight on, strung up the brim buster and everything. Ooh, less than two days to be a boat owner. Awesome, Alicia. And then she held up the bobber and goes, But now you get more practice. I guess so. We're just, you know, we're wasting time, that's all. Get it together. Get it together, woman. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. Yep. That's the chunky rod that Anna won from Chunky Cats. And uh, Chunky's been asking me to put the Hellcat under a black light, so I brought, brought a black light with me right there, and I I have it ever so rednecky fied <laughs> right there. It's I didn't want to drill into the boat, and it's just something I'm going to try tonight. So I didn't want to do anything like that. It took forever. So I just put some gear ties on it, and that'll do right there now. Here the bullfrogs. Yeah, that's the one I played. Yeah, that's right. What knot does Anna use? I think she's using the. Uh, are you using the fisherman or the improved clinch? Fisherman. Fisherman's knot. Fisherman. I'm not allowed to chunk, cast a chunky rod. <laughs> mm. What's up, Billy from North Carolina? What part, Billy? What's up, Ricky? And Anna, she says, hello, Anna, 
and Kevin and everyone. We've got one fish so far. Oh, there's a gator right there. Gator! I don't know if y'all can see him. See that gator right there? That's a big one. Probably a 10 footer right there. What's up, Dale? Let me see if I can zoom in. There he is. There's the gator. Alicia said, Poor Anna, I've been there. He's north of Charlotte. Nice. Watching from Oklahoma. Well, what's up, Ray? Welcome. I like new people. <laughs> if you're new, old blue, what's going on, man? Good to see you. you don't like old people. No, I love old people, but I like new people when they pop in and tell us that they're, you know, you see a new name, you know, it's exciting. It means the channel's growing and you're reaching out and people are discovering you, and that's just exciting. Wait, that's a big old get out there now. Better watch out. Get, are, are you gonna get in the water anytime soon with that? You gonna catch us? <laughs> All right, now she's officially rigged back up. Glad you like old people. <laughs> You're fishing vicariously through us. Awesome, yeah. I do like old people. Old people are fun. Catch us a gator. No, that's what they call legal. <laughs> no, I mean if you know what you're doing, it's yeah. You gotta inside. I'll I'll explain it in a second. Chris says seventy four. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's not what I meant. Anna made a joke, but I was talking about new subscribers and old subscribers. But that's okay. I still like old people too. Leroy, St. Louis reporting for duty. 74 is the new 50. All right. Leroy, $5. Boom. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, Dave? What's up? Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Still didn't scare that gator. He's right there. We know nothing about gators in Oklahoma. Well, there's one right there. They usually don't bother you. Yeah, real deep, real deep. Tell my knees that, please. There you go. All right, Anna's using a, go back to the back. What's up, Clinton? Clinton Westbury from my school is in the house. Clinton, I think a bunch of your classmates decided to troll me on Friday. <laughs> They're making up fake names. What's up, Laura? Lori? So Anna's back there with a brim buster. I think you can see it. We got a hundred people in here, man. That's awesome. But well, she's using a, a brim buster and she's just got a little bobber down there. Probably can't see the bobber. Nope. Let's see if I can zoom for you. There it is. There's the little bobber right there. Oh, there it is. Get him. <laughs> there we go. She's got the bait. Y'all, y'all, you need you a, a significant other that can come out. I'm not gonna say a woman, because if you're the if you're the fish person, if you're the angler in the house. You need you a husband or wife to come out here and catch a bait like that. Show it to the camera. Yep. Like a little baby. There he's a little brim. Got little stripes. Nicole, that's bait. worms, red, uh, red worms. Yep. All right, cool. Bait. Awesome. Yep, there's that gator right out there. He's just a, he's just a swimming.
Yeah, Alicia, what's your boat? What kind of boat are you getting? Anyway, I think I got distracted. No surprise there. Got 101 people in, 81 thumbs up. We got 41.97 in Super Chat. We got one fish, y'all. How do you get her to take the fish off the hook? My wife won't touch a fish. She she likes bugs and insects and gardening and. Mm -hmm. That's how I knew I. That's how I knew I was gonna um marry her. That's when I knew it was time. I took her out fishing and I used to have this other pontoon boat, and we went out and I found a shellcracker bed, or my dad found a shellcracker bed, but we went and found dad. We were on a shellcracker bed and we were pulling in slab after slab. I mean they were. She was having so much fun yanking them big shell crackers out of the hole that they were slapping up against the side of the pontoon boat. It was just boom, boom, knocking the fish out. And uh, taught her how to tie a hook on and put the worm on there, and she done the rest. I was like, yep, that's the woman for me right there. Yeah, that's a chunky rod right there. That's a chunky rod. I stole it from him. <laughs> yeah, I had that. I had that rod with me. Oh, it's a bass tracker. Nice, nice. What's up, Joe Sutton? 2008 12 foot bass. 18. Nice. That's a good boat. I'm watching Anna's bobber. <laughs> Yeah, that's a chunky rod. Anna actually won that a long time ago. It's been six, eight months ago when he got the 5,000 subscribers, I think it was, or something like that. He gave away two Whisker Seeker rods that he customized. And she won that one. Man, chat just kind of stopped. What happened? I don't have any chat after Alicia's. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice, Alicia. Yes. Y'all just was being quiet. Somebody's over there jamming. The movie was cool, man. You give Spielberg a run for his money. Yeah. Thank you. I just put the three parts of our trip together. It wasn't too much to it. But you can... It got quiet. Yeah, it got quiet. You're listening to my story. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, I forget sometimes that there's a delay. The Real Gravy. I like that name. Have you ever fished the Watery Dam? I haven't. I haven't. Pristine condition. Had a trolling motor in Yamaha. <laughs> 2.5. Wow, that is pretty cute. But hey, if it does the job... <laughs> no jet boats or airplanes no but we have we have partiers around the corner somewhere it might be they might be on it it's on the bottom nope be be my lover yep you may upgrade the motor you have those fits often i'm listening to music man La da da dee da 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 da. La da da dee da 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 da. <laughs> All right, the numbers are going down. Let me stop singing. <laughs> oh, it was the dancing that got rid of them. Did you say you were coming back for another tournament? Yes, Wayne. The um, Jeff Manning Grand Slam tournament is in August. Vogue moves, yeah. <laughs> Cause there's got to be more than one fish here. There are more than one. Motor red. <laughs> Fishing chick, I thought you said not to sing that no more.
Big center console coming down the river there. I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> Gator ran the catfish off? Maybe. I don't even know where that gator went. I think he went under. Nope. He's way over there now. Was your water temp and depth? Well, it's about 75 degrees, and where I'm casted is about 20, 25 foot, and right where we're sitting is about 12 or 14 foot. Let's see. Yes, please stop with the dancing and singing. <laughs> Stick to the fishing, please. <laughs> But the singing brings in the fish. We've already, we've already, we've already discovered that. I have to go water the critters. All right, see you, Tim. How's the hand? Hey, John, the hand's great. I just got a bandaid on it to keep from getting crap in it. That's all. Best drum. Oh, there he is. Oh man. Kevin, I got a brim lake. Hit me up if you need bait for the tournament. Awesome, Tim. Thank you. That'd be awesome. I wish I had a brim lake. <sighs> Anna would never come inside. Nope. It isn't Kevin if there is no singing and weird dancing. That's right. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully Anna can catch us a few more fish. That's, you know, once she catches us a few more bait fish, then we're probably going to move to a more lucrative spot, catfish speaking. One fish in an hour. Is the better half out fishing you? Yes. She's back there trying to catch some bait. And we had this, this blue cat rod hit um, behind me. Hit pretty hard and she she got up here and reeled it in i'm definitely getting it out as soon as yes got to get that boat out there i saw chris and telly got a new boat and i talked to chris today uh i think he said it was a ranger uh do you ever night fish the river that's where we're at right now i night fished it on friday on fish on <laughs> I have a live brim on one of these if I'm ever blessed enough for a boat I'm gonna name her my Sharona <laughs> my, 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 my Sharona <laughs> my Sharona Ma, 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 ma. That view of her fishing with the background would make a great picture. Yep. Ooh, they partying hardy. Waiting for Chunky's neon boat. Yeah, he's been... That's going to be crazy. Yeah, he's painting it fluorescent. Yeah. Yeah, early 2000s. I named my boat Fat Cat. <laughs> I named this one Slimer. Um, and I was going to put a Slimer sticker on it. Where can I buy a glow rod? Um, I don't, Chunky doesn't sell them. We won that one. I'm just doing a trial spot, not the whole thing right now. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, Anna won that rod. He doesn't sell them. I don't have any Mad Cats rods. I don't. I do have two. Um, those are the Hellcats right there. So we'll see how those look under a glow um, black light tonight. If you missed it earlier, I said I got a, I got a black light right there. You got a fawn laying in your front yard. That's awesome. What happened to the man who drank leaf tests? Of course I sell them money talks. 
At one point, he was said he wasn't going to say him. What happened to the man who drinks green tea? It sounds like a limerick or a joke. I usually only bring the chunky rod out when Anna's on the boat because that's her rod. She's caught one or two fish on it, I think. Chunky, are you going to do a fishing video on your boat? Got 83 people in, 91 thumbs up. Thank you, everybody. We had over 100 at one point, but we, we're not catching any fish. We need to get some fish on. I'm trying to let Anna catch a few more bait fish. Mm -hmm. 4.25% interest through the month of June. First class. <laughs> Yeah, those people are like millennials. Uh, he used a bullhead to catch his big flathead. Move time, yeah. We will in just a second. I'll give Anna, you want to try, try up here? Try up here. What's up, Sogo? How many pleasure boats have been? No, we just came right to this little cove here so we didn't have to mess with them all. That's another good thing about this spot. Anna's over here trying to catch some BGs. Because where we would go next, she wouldn't be able to catch them. And that's what she likes to do the most is catch bluegills. Kevin, my mason is laughing at you because I'm dancing. First class. <laughs> the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming back, that I don't know when. We'll be together then. We're gonna have a good time then. <laughs> The cats and the girls and the silver That needs to be a, a, a hip hop song. Can you see it? Just how it flows. Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little ball blue and the man in the doom. I can hear the accents. Anna says I'm a nut. Nut house. Nut house. That reel on Chunky's Rock looks very small. It's an Alios. What's up, Bobby Newton? It's Alios. Low profile reel. If you're looking for a winch, this thing will winch in anything. It is a power horse. Horse has got horsepower. I got both models. Both models. PC Fun Alios. And somebody told me I need to work on my my links in my description. So if I had my links worked out right, then uh, you could just go look at it with the link. But I don't. I got to get it done. Been doing too much daggum fishing, man. Too much fishing. Steve, Steve once said... Um, Uncle Steve said, you need to fish more. I was like, oh, okay. So here I am, fishing more. Ooh, that wind is blowing, son. <laughs> Jeff said, nuts. Hmm. Nothing over there? Nope. Not a nerbal. Not a nerbal.
Too much fishing is a good problem. Yeah, I agree. You ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till this summer. <laughs> it has one heck of a power handle, yeah. I've caught a 33 pound blue cat on it and it it didn't struggle a bit. Check in at Palmetto Cats Family Good Day. Yes sir, what's up Steve Austin? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Nobody ever said quit your fishing. <laughs> There's the PC Fun Alios. Hmm, about a month ago, I was catching white cat on gizzards. Ooh, okay. We don't have white cats down here this far. They do up in Columbia, though. No such thing as too much fishing. That's right. How many more weeks until school? Man, too many, man. We got, I think we got three weeks left. Let's see. Yeah, three weeks. And then I work into the summer for three weeks, so I have six weeks until I'm off. You're in Missouri. Well, what's up, Dwayne Mead? You're freaking Fridays off, right? Uh, yeah, we get our Fridays off. That's true. We're in South Carolina. All right, we're going to give it 15 more minutes, unless Anna says no. And then we're going to go try to find some fish somewhere else. With this wind blowing, though, we're going to have a hard time finding a spot. How's the weather? It's overcast. It's a little bit chilly for us. And the wind is howling pretty good. Congratulations. Yes, our graduation is June 17th. But see, we didn't start until September, though. Anna says she needs a snack. <laughs> I'm hungry. It is indeed chilly, yep. Matt said, hello. Hey, Anna and Anna's husband wanted to stop in and say hey and give a thumbs up. Well, thank you. Yeah, we figured instead of going live on the, um, yeah, uh, instead of going live and doing a show tonight, we just come out here and go live fishing. And we got the, uh, <sighs> me too, Anna, what you snacking? There you go. Peanut butter pretzels. Peanut butter pretzels. How much are your hoodies, Kevin, in 3XL? Uh, I'll get back to you on that. I haven't put any on the website yet. Lori said, my fave. You killing them brim? No, the brim? I don't know. Bite's been tough for brim this year. I was going to do a shellcracker video, but I missed the bed. I missed the season. Just move to the mouth of the cove you're on. Yeah, I thought about that too. We definitely need to be in the main channel. I know that. The only issue I have with the main channel is the, uh, the powerhouse. They're running water right now. And the current's pretty strong. And the wind's blowing that way. We'll make a move here in a minute. Do you fish on the river? This is the river. Do you, you, you used to fish on the river? We are on the river. They're still super shallow. Yeah. No problem, big country. Yeah, yeah, we got the Iron Cat Kayak Challenge next weekend. And we got six kayakers ready to go. We got PC Funds going to sponsor a prize, Muddy River, Uncle Lou, Brad Caldill, um, and some others that are sponsoring some prizes. So make sure you check in.
Have you tried panfish magnets? Nope, we haven't. Usually only fish with live bait for for brim and stuff. And it's weird that we got that we got one catfish here right off the bat and then nothing. Usually when that happens, when you get them that quick, that means that they're here. Not today though. Love fishing the river, lake too boring. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm gonna start reeling up. 87 watching, 99 thumbs up, and ain't ain't it cool? Yeah, it is very cool. Is the Iron Cat tournament is it yeah, the Iron Cat tournament, yep. Just realized Miss Anna is the model for your shirt. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that one must you're right, Lori. That one must have been just been cruising through. Like, um, nobody's hanging out here. Might as well grab me a bite to eat. <laughs> All right. That was the live bait gonna save him <laughs> for the next spot. Ow. What's that? The cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. <laughs> Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you come back, that I don't know when. <laughs> we'll be together then. He's crazy. Did you just sit down to eat snacks while I'm. <laughs> Big problem with my snack. <laughs> For some reason. No bait. Uh -huh. Can't catch them with no bait. Nope. All right, y'all. We're going to pull up the anchor and 
Go to the next spot. I realize there's a broom head in here. That there's a what? Gonna have to hold everybody. I'll hold it. I'll hold everybody. I got slime on my leg where that catfish hit me.
No spinning. I do bring them out every once in a while. I kind of did the, um, what's that, need for speed anchor there. I threw up the back one to slow down. What's up, Hervé? Appreciate that. I threw out the back anchor and kind of <laughs> swung around the front. We'll see how that works for now. What's up, Wayne? Tiger musky. <sighs> Lori's throwing out the rhymes. See how this works. So the situation we got here is we got the current coming out of this rice field here and down over this ledge. And we're anchored right here on the ledge. So hopefully those fish coming off the ledge that are feeding and coming through this little highway Ho hopefully they'll uh be hungry see that's the only thing we got to compete with right here is these little grass islands and stuff that wasn't here a second ago so those will blow in and they tend to grab the line and whatnot but we'll deal with them what's up larry Uh, about 25 with just me in it. Call me fat? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, uh, Anna and I tore up the catfish here in November. And I, I tore them up here in January. I think I caught 44 catfish in three trips just out this one spot. I've got high hopes, high hopes. I'm sure they do. Nothing, we just move spots. Just eating snacks. Snacks. Principally, uh, do those grass hours and float around all the time. <laughs> Pretty much. Right across the street, right, right over there. Right across the street. Yeah. Larry Oliver asked, how's the hands doing? Hands doing great, Larry. Hands doing great. You ain't
like they're relaxing. What's up, Schmitter? That's right, the captain, the cradle, and the silver spoon. <laughs> Little boy, blue, and the man on the moon. We actually gonna put this one up. Put that in the rod holder. Peace City Glizzy. Oh, here we go. Well, then it's the wavelength of electrical. Okay. Science! All right, here we go. We fishing again. Now this is the main channel and the current's coming right off. You just caught a mudfish? All right. Robbie. It's right over there somewhere. Oh yeah. Yep. One more turn. CVA, what's up, man? Um. Yeah. So the, I just lost Palmetto. <laughs> no, I didn't read it. I figured you were explaining to somebody else. Do I need to go back and read it? Let's see. Well then, the wavelength of electrical signals detected 5 to 12 foot of water at 7.5 velocity on the flathead detection zone of long wave vibrations from soft rayed fishes. <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying is, I need to put a brim on the hook and throw them in there? <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> if there's a fish here so I'll pick something else lol <laughs> you just hit land no luck on the yak. Ah, sorry to hear that. What's the biggest fish you pulled in? Brim are not in the soft raid fish category. <laughs> so what you're saying is, I need to get me a goldfish and put him on there? Let him wiggle on the hook a little bit? The biggest catfish I've ever caught was 52 pounds. Not, not well, the biggest catfish I've ever weighed was 52 pounds. Um, and that was a couple weeks ago. Right across the street here. Right, right, right over yonder somewhere. Which kind of made me feel good because I was taking some of the stuff I learned from Epic. Um, Tim Scott talking about highways and fish feeding zones and high current and I put it to the test that day and it worked it took a long time I sat there for a while but the, the big end came through now today if you're asking about today we've only caught one and Anna caught that one it was uh 15 pounds roundabout, roundabout. we didn't weigh it I did let him go yes um try to maintain the policy anything over 10 pounds i let go goldfish are not in the soft raid category either kevin but yes you're close <laughs> so what you're saying is i need to get me an eel and put on that hook there and let him wiggle around <laughs> mr kevin i'm about to tell your name 
About to tell my oh call my name maybe. All right, I'm listening. Yep, I heard you. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> Your grandparents are going to come out of there now. Stop all that now. Stop all that. <laughs> Eels are in the soft raid fishes category. Sweet. I got one right. What soft I don't know. Ask Epic. <laughs> what do you do with the fish below 10 pounds? Well, I mean, I let them. Touche. <laughs> I do let all of them go unless I'm wanting some eater fish. Now tomorrow, tomorrow I might keep a few. But I'll only keep one under 10 pounds if I want to eat them. Woo. I eat fish from Acme. I like turtles. <laughs> We need a take down. We need a fish to come and eat a bait right now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. He's not going to watch while he's on the way home. Kevin, can you sing tenor? This is about as high as I can sink. Oh, 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 there he is. Man, I hope you can see that on camera. That thing went all the way down. He's not on there. Sorry, I didn't mean to know. No, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. right behind you. Whoa! <laughs> he took the bait and everything. Probably a gar. Probably. Probably a gar field. So I don't know if that's I don't know if that's I don't know if that's tenor or not, P City. See? Singing brings the fish. <laughs> what am I trying to tell you? Doesn't that look like a tongue? Gross. That's chicken tongue right there, y'all. Chicken tongue. <laughs> That was a short cast, too. That was right here in front of the boat. I don't know if I'll be able to make that happen now because the lines are all crossed. Man, that stinks. We needed that fish. <laughs> Eight thumbs down. Yeah, that's been happening to me here recently. I don't know what's up with that. Hey, Miss Becca. No problem. Appreciate you stopping in. That's been happening to me here recently. I think there's a group of people. <laughs> I'm calling it. Your new PB will be caught on this live stream. I hope so. There we go. What's up, Catfish Clothing? Anna's got her new hat on. I'm wearing my new hat. Hang on, I'll show you. There's her new gear. From the show. <laughs> Will, what's up, Sean H? If you want to hit the thumbs down, be my guest. It don't bother me one yeah. bit. I could care less. <clears throat> He said, beautiful. I got a catfish shirt on, too. Check that out. Bling, bling. Miss uh, Becca said, 
hello. Yeah, she's watching the chat um, on her phone, Becca. If you do catch it, send me a hat. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Don't worry, the jerks don't watch. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know. It's, I think you go through seasons. Like, yeah. there's a group of people. And there's a group of people out there right now that don't like me for whatever reason. That's fine. It's A OK. It's A OK in the USA. It's A OK in the USA, OK? Means you're doing something right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> steel hands. What does that mean? Steel hands. Steel heads. Oh, steel heads? Okay, yeah. I like you, Kevin. Thank you, Wayne. I think you I think you're pretty pretty cool too. Gonna hate thumbs down. <laughs> well, I mean, when if you put it in terms like that, a singing fisherman who's only caught one. What's up, Rich and Leo? One fish on the stream. Yeah, I get that. You got uh, thumbs down for me. Really amazed at how much. What do you say? You. Oh, okay. Appreciate it, Mark. I like. I appreciate that comment. Thank you. I would really appreciate a catfish at this moment too. Yeah, thumbs down means trolls with no guts, Kevin. <sighs> Me and Carolina catfish only caught one last night. Oh man. All right, Miss Becca, see ya. Hit that note again. Ah! Squirrel. I got a thumbs down. Five seconds of my last video, yeah. Do you think the cold front moved through slow to bite? No. One of two things. Uh, so when I'm live streaming, I pretty much have to come to these spots. And I know you see these spots a lot, but... I, if I want to live stream, I have to come where I know I can get signal. Boom, John McKnight, 199. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Um, so I have to be able to have service. So that's one one reason it could be is that there's uh, no fish here. <laughs> Which I mean, they just move through here. They don't they don't like huddle up here. And then the other reason is it's just been a slow bite all around. Uh, maybe YouTube will add the number one emoji so you can respond to <laughs> haters. Uh, that's funny. Why were you being tasered, Has? Yeah. I saw that POE Give Anna some camera time. She's just got to get up. Come on. She's done with my snacks. She's done with her snacks. For now. She's back there snacking. Chatting and snacking. I think we're getting grass on these lines, which yeah. is a big problem here too. Look, there's the sun. Hope it comes over here. Boom! Troll spray away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear a singing bite. Look like a demo. <laughs> Motorin! What's the price for a bite? <laughs> Nine thumbs down are a group of guys from Australia. They are likes, really. Do some TNT fishing. Catfish clothing says, ooh, I like that hat, Anna. Me too. Looks real nice. Real nice. <laughs> real nice. Another dono up above. Yeah, I saw it. Yep. Dono. I'm gonna start Catfish and dreams, $5. Yep, I saw it. Mark, it was training to be certified to use one. Oh, his taser thing? 
<laughs> I commented on Haz's video because he was like, ah, and I commented, we'll always love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like Whitney out there. No problem. <laughs> Paul Hogan did TNT fishing in the movie. Yes. Yep. In Crocodile Dundee. Mm -hmm. I address the thumbs down people in my messages tonight. Messages. Appreciate it. Dang has. I didn't get certified to use one 20 years ago. Kevin is a positive influence. We like him here in South Carolina. Too much negativity in catfishing. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Mark is somebody You're like a fresh morning breeze. <laughs> a fresh morning breeze. You don't smell like one. Though. I'm like a ray of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually met Mark. Mark used to um, run the uh, Santee Cooper Lakes Tournament Series. And he just recently handed it over. Boom! $50! Oh, awesome. Catfish clothing! Yeah. I'm not tone deaf, P City. No, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Thank you for that. Catfish clothing. Y'all be sure to go support Catfish Clothing. I got this cool green pepper hat. And I got her cool pink hat. And we got this catfish shirt on. I don't have a catfish shirt on. She doesn't have a catfish shirt on. <laughs> we'll get her, we'll get her one next time. But uh, I got a discount code in the description if you want to save some money on some gear. And you can actually, this is a custom hat, so you can get a custom one. You can change the color of the catfish on the hat, too. Check it out. I think I probably need to recast these lines, unfortunately. I think they have too much grass on them. So Anna will talk to you. Oh, she's going to go get a snack. I was going to get a drink of water. Well, go get a drink of water. Bring me bring me a drink, too, while you're at it, please. Okay. All right. Let's cast these jokers out here. And I'll tell you. Yeah, I got grass on this. I'll tell you about the rigs, the setups that I'm using. This one is a Abu Garcia Pro Rocket. A painting services by C Steve sent me. And it's on the Muddy River Cat Fishing. Catfish don't like hula skirts. <laughs> Is that scientifically proven, Epic? <laughs> Is that scientifically proven? New subscriber. Love ponytails and fishing. All right. <laughs> Ellis. Well, welcome to the show. We're trying to catch some more catfish. We got one fish in so far. But this is the, uh, the medium catfish rod from Muddy River. And it has a load of grass on it. Hey, Catfish. Oh, we got all these. Remember all those um, little flies that were all over everything last year? Uh-huh. They back. Uh-oh. They couldn't make a feed. Back where you had them. No bait either. Oh, really? No bait. We did the same thing a bit earlier. It was the same rod. Is that the same rod? Yeah, I just moved it over here because I couldn't cast it. Okay. So that is a negative of this spot, is that you get all this, um, I, people are saying boom, fish boom, chick. boom. Give you a nine boom, fish and chick making a sprinkle. Thank you, fish and chick. <laughs> you get all this grass and stuff around your line. Sprinkles. Yes, I love the sprinkles. Catfish asked if they could taste has next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm tasting has next time. <laughs> Really chunky rod. Ooh. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Do it. 
Boom! Has made it sprinkle too. <laughs> I got a glizzy and I can put this um <laughs> I can put this nice fauna on oh, here. Oh god, yeah, it's awful. Here we go. It almost looks like it almost looks like hair weave. <laughs> it's really heavy. It is heavy. Yes, these are the new Hellcats. Oh, I have two of them. Awful. <laughs> Looks like, remember Swamp Thing from the yeah. 80s? Anybody need any green weave? <laughs> yes, cha-ching. Salad, yes. Cooper oh, River slaw. Oh, Kevin called himself a wig, yep. Cooper River coleslaw. Great. <laughs> Sorry if I reminded anybody that uh they need to do their yard work. <laughs> Maybe the current will slow down here in a little bit. Oh, we got the 100 bucks. Awesome. 100 bucks in Super Chat. Did I miss another one? Awesome. Nope, just them two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. At 83 thumbs up and 100. I mean, 83 people watching, 129 thumbs up. $100 in Super Chat. It's like hair. Look at that action. Where's the camera? <laughs> Boom! 99 cents! <laughs> Rip! This is, this is terrible. Ridiculous. Make sure I don't miss any okay. The 99 cent ones don't show up in the top. Mm. Not salad. Slimy. Can't come off. Somebody's eating the. Oh. Chris is eating a hot fudge sundae and watching Palmetto. Life is good. <laughs> Mike Chavez says it's time to move. We just got here. We can move, though. We can move to the center of the channel. Maybe oh. the grass won't be as bad. Epic says the eelgrass is coming down the river. Chances of catching a mega monster fall by about 99%. Dang it! Still, you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Fishing chick with the awesome. pony. With the was that a pony? A unicorn? <laughs> Is that what a catfish is gonna be in the? Oh the man! Unicorn? unicorn? I hope not. I hope not too. Hit him with the sprinkles. <laughs> Sprinkle. Sprinkle. This is loaded too. Pretty pony. <laughs> Epic said might as well be 110%. What? Don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> P City said, dang, Epic, don't kill the party. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tim must have been that guy at the party. <laughs> What's that SNL skit? Debbie Downer. Yes! <laughs> womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. Timmy Towner. Timmy Towner. <laughs> Where's the chicken feet? Catfish wants to know. <laughs> that didn't exactly work out as planned. I'm gonna try it again though. But he's gonna try it again. 
Epic said, there's still a slight chance if you hold your mouth right, Kevin. <laughs> what ratio of uh, top lip to bottom lip do I need to hold open? <laughs> he, said he said, I'm drinking, don't mind me. <laughs> Seven people watching. Watching you reeling grass. <laughs> Epic said no, I'm all optimist. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> grass all over the boat. The worst thing is this grass when it's cold. Because mm -hmm. you have to you have to take it all off when it's freezing. and straps said hello what's hello, up hello. Boosters? all right what do you think well i think most of the grass oh there's still one more rod out oh. chitlins Anyone that fishes this pond is optimistic. So Got 93 people in here now. Facts. Oh. Gross. What's up, Robbie? I refuse to give up. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. Never surrender. We need your help. <laughs> What's the name of that movie again? Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest. Quest. Catfish says move. I am in all caps. We moving. I think we might have to move up before the rice fields to avoid the grass, though. Back that way. No, back up river. You. Yeah. Wherever they are. Lock them in. <laughs> At least Kevin has salad for the next week. <laughs> I'm closer to the channel. That's what Catfish said. Hmm? Catfish said closer to the channel. This is the channel. We in the channel. We all up in it. <laughs> oh, Robbie said tell um, Mr. Kevin to come fish off the dock with us. Y'all have terrible service over there. Yeah, you don't have any service. I've tried to share Robbie's live streams this whole weekend and weekend and they keep <laughs> keep dying. Alright, I'm gonna pull these anchors now. This probably didn't last long. Keep it grass. Oh. <laughs> Gabber said, well, farther away then. <laughs> I think someone's enjoying a night of beverages. I think a few people are. <laughs> Tell Mr. Kevin if we should duck. Robbie thought, Robbie said, true, true. 
You have salad on your chin, Kevin. <laughs> That's from Catfish. Try the train trussle, Robbie said. That's twice as much grass. <laughs> he said there's double the grass over there. Double grass. <laughs> Ernie said Robbie has to go show Kevin where to fish. Here comes the haters. <laughs> Since, well, you let's try fin to, since you finned your hand. Let's just try hand. to spot lock in the middle of the channel. We'll try that before we go. Since you finned your hand, I've had fat man and a little goat stuck in my head. <laughs> Who said that? Ellis. Fat guy and little goat. Little goat. What fat state are you in? We're in South Carolina. Look at it. You do have grass on your chin. I'm trying to eat healthy. Come here. Got it. <laughs> We're gonna fish out the back of the boat. <laughs> Ernie said the spawn. Kill y'all down there, I think. Oh, <gasps> oh! I just okay. I'm like, I just hit somebody. Sorry. Oh, I hit Ernie. Sorry. Kevin undid it. I think I undid it. He undid it. <laughs> Sorry, Ernie. I don't know what she's got against you, Ernie. <laughs> I had a little um, panic for a second. <laughs> Ernie ain't never done nothing wrong to me. <laughs> I don't know why Anna's got a problem with you. I was trying to scroll. <sighs> Do you see me scrolling? They I'm hating. hating. <laughs> they gon' catch Ernie riding dirty. Hey. Gonna catch Ernie riding dirty. Gonna catch, Ernie, gonna catch him riding dirty. I know, I was with her cooking. Careful scrolling now. You're gonna scroll dirty. Oh no! I didn't do it. Dwayne Mead was timed out. What did Dwayne say? Oh, he was? Yeah. Oh, I'm boring? <laughs> That's okay. Like way at the beginning though. I am boring. Yeah, go go find something else. <laughs> I can see that though. I mean, if you come to watch somebody catch fish and they're not yeah. catching it, he but. came right before we moved the first from the first. Oh, time okay. Time. So we were reeling up rods. Glad you don't sing when bored. <laughs> oh. You're not just fish busy doing the spawn, yeah. Let's see here. They flying. They be they be flying. All right, Wayne's back. We can catch a fish now. Tiger, tiger what? Tiger. Tiger musky, New Mexico. All right, we're gonna spot lock right here. In the middle. Right in the middle. Everybody All right, so we're gonna turn the camera around, and we're gonna throw out the back. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. we move the net? Yep, we can move the net up here. We'll get some fresh bits only on here. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> You're rocking. Whoa.
Catfish Cow said his wife needs my hat. <laughs> Catfish said I'd move over five more feet. <laughs> Thanks, Pontoon Jody. I like it too. It's my new one. I got it, Catapalooza. wind blowing it's about maybe 67 ish too cold for me it's chilly it's windy though breezy oh i'm gonna turn this thing over Riding the waves. I get motion sick. Why do I have that? Catch me riding dirty song stuck in my head. <laughs> it keeps me riding dirty. Catch some fish. Had to drop off. Lost about ten people. Hopefully, we'll catch some fish in this spot. Be sure. One more rod. We'll put one more out, Jello. <laughs> Squirrel, I'm trying not to let you fall over. Uh, oh, playing Shania Twain whoa. on that boat. No idea what he's doing. Nope. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they got close. They were flying down through here. They just came out of a no wake zone. Glenn Meadows said, Good day, Kevin. <laughs> Logan said, hey Kevin and the smoking hot wife. Mm -hmm. Hello. Kevin's over here trying to catch fish. Yeah. Rex Blocker. Yeah, they just don't. They're just partying. They flew past. Yeah. He waved at me. 
Yeah. I didn't have the heart to wave back. I just shook my head and looked down. Mario Sanchez. Hey, everyone from South Carolina. Mario we from, from South, South Carolina. Carolina. He is from South Carolina. I can't quit yawning. It's because I'm boring. I need some fish action. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend is rookie weekend. That's why I'm on the patio instead of in the water. <laughs> Whiskers and stripes. I don't blame you. We came out later for that reason. And it helped that it was overcast all day today. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of chilly. Apparently not late enough. Apparently not. At least they didn't hit us. Or run over fishing lines. Ninety percent of peeps on that river are the same way. It does seem like that sometimes. Bless our vets, absolutely. All right. Back. We got him in the water. Yeah, just still one fish, Mark. Having a hard time today. Yeah. It's chilly. It's a little windy. I still think everyone should take a boater safety course. Yeah. I, I don't know how much of that is boater safety course or just they don't care. <laughs> yeah, consideration, I guess. He had a boat, boat full of his girlfriends and, you know, he was having fun showing off and we got we got 20 feet on the right side between us and a channel marker and 200 feet on the left side but he chose to come up the right side <laughs> <coughs> it's all right it happens you got to be used to it in virginia it's the law it is it is the law here unless you're a certain age uh but if you're born before a certain date then you got grandfathered in i was i was before that date just one sunfish, one. And some brim. Yeah, and I caught a bunch of brim. And shrimp crackers. We're spot locked. You pass your epic ne negativity. Go Palmetto. <laughs> <laughs> he must have been blasting the guy too, huh? Oh, you're talking about the grass? <laughs> <sighs> it's tough fishing. They're blow well, so what they do is they generate power up at the dam, just like most dams. But they do it um, at a certain time, and what they've done is they've opened that dam up. They also do it on um, they also do it on holiday weekends, just to keep the river moving. You're asking about the broom buster. <laughs> yeah. Phone's gonna die. Can't let that happen. Whew. So yeah, we just decided, those of you just coming in, we decided to come out here tonight and try to catch some fish. Maybe it'll pick up here in a minute once this current dies down. We got hour and a half. Hour and a half? Yep. What time is it now? 7.30. 7.30. What's up, PA Catfish Seeker? We're spot locked in the channel right now. We've got some rods out the back. And I don't know if you can hear the troll motor, but it's on 10. It's on full blast trying to keep us in the spot. Some dragonflies are weird stuff back here. Anna's going to check out the dragonflies. They did have a good song on their boat when they passed. Any man, any man, any man of mine better walk through. They're mating. Why on the back of the head? Tis the season. Oh, I get it. I get it. She gets it now. What? Oh, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Got some dragonflies back here trying to uh, in increase the population. And Anna is into it. <laughs> it's 
You know, I, this is how I this is how I caught my big fish right here, and uh, I really didn't I didn't have a uh, I didn't have high hopes for it until the rod went down. So hopefully that'll be the that'll be the dragonflies need love too. <laughs> Uh, yep, it was loud enough to get you a copyright strike. Yeah, man, dang. Sure hope I don't get one. What's up, SF Outdoors? We're out here trying to make the best of a slow bite. We trying, we trying to make it happen. Got some corp, corp busting over there. Oh, oh, there's the sun. There's the sun. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, like all the clouds are about to disappear. Maybe the fish are about to turn on. Oh. Spawn is on, yep. Has the cicadas hatched an SE yet? Nope, nope, we haven't heard them. Have you ever had the pontoon boat out without any fishing poles? Yes, I have. It was painful. Very, very <laughs> painful. Made you sad. <laughs> it made me sad. Wayne, the fishing is not good at the moment. But that could change at any time. Anna caught a 15 pounder right off the bat in the first spot we were in. But that spot's kind of like an all day spot. Like fish come through there feeding every once in a while. And uh, it's not really good for a live stream because people get impatient. And I get impatient. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta stay optimistic. Any of these rods could go down at any moment. Boom! Drag squealing. <laughs> any moment now. Any moment. You just gotta want it. You just gotta want it. Make sure y'all check out Palma the Cats on Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We're gonna have the Iron Cat Kayak Tournament. <laughs> Iron Cat Kayak Tournament. The rules are, yeah, <laughs> that's right, Has. Um, the rules are that they have to fish out of kayak. <laughs> they have to stay live. They have to. They can only be off camera for ten minutes for potty breaks and smoke breaks or whatever. White rod will go for real. Yeah, man. Oh, there's the bell. There's the bell from the monastery. If it was if it was wanting it, it would catch a 100 every. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted enough. What do you say? If it was wanting it, I would catch a 100 plus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm missing stuff. Kevin, please do another so I can fish it. It, it's coming. Um. Anyway, so. Um. The first, they have to catch a fish within the first four hours. If they don't catch a fish over 16 inches within the first four hours, they're out. And then after that, they have to catch a fish um, within two hours over 16 inches or they're out. And then after that, every hour, they have to catch at least one fish of 16 inches or over or they're out. So those are the main rules. All the payout is from Super Chat. Um, the more super chat we get, the more that the first, second, and third place pays out. And we have sponsors. What's up, Jesse Orley? <laughs> we got uh, PC Fun sponsoring a reel. We got Muddy River sponsoring. We have Uncle Lou's, Brad Caudill. Um, there's one other that I keep forgetting, and I don't know why. <laughs> Never Lost. Never Lost Anchors. Que pasa? Sub old villa after the spawn they're gonna kill it. Yeah man. Ready for registration. Yeah, the bank the bank one's coming next. Also, nice play, Kev. <laughs> yeah, the rules needed to be changed, that's for sure. Um to make it more entertaining, that's all. And so it doesn't go 39 hours. But there is no time limit for that one. Um and then we'll have the the um the bank 
Iron Cat registration opens up Friday as well. So check that out. And we have a boat one too. We have a boat Iron Cat. All the rules are the same. I also have a um, Catch and Cook Iron Cat, which should be pretty cool. And then the, the big one, the big one that uh, Brian B says ready for the boat challenge. The big one that's never been done is the bushcraft challenge and i just y'all i just finished the rules and the tasks and everything on on uh friday it's gonna be like survivor it's gonna be like survivor uh but they get points and i don't want to give everything away no uh -uh. <laughs> um but the more points you have to you have to uh the more points you get, obviously, the person with the most points wins. You have to do tasks like build fire, build shelter. Um, you have to demonstrate how to... Um, shoot, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it a word? Sanitize water. I know that's not the word. I, I have it written down. Um, you have to be able to make clean water. You have to be able to cook. Um, then you get bonus points for things, but not only do you get points for making a fire, but you get different points based on how you make the fire. What's the best season to fish on the river? May, May last year, I tore it up. May, I was on fire. I also hit it good in July or late June too. Purify. Thank you, Old Villa. Um, and in January, January, I hit it hard too. So I don't know what's up with this May. This May has been terrible. But anyway, um, so like if you if you start a fire, the the bank iron cat. <laughs> my attention span is like zero. Two seconds. The bank iron cat is um, June something. <laughs> I don't have it off the top of my head. It's on my it's on my YouTube page, or you can go to my website, shoppalmettocats.com, and check it out. That's where the registration is anyway. No, old boy with the music's coming back. Super awesome. Hopefully he passes on the other side this time. I hope so. Um, so, like, if you make the fire... This year, the fish are social distancing. It seems like it. Um, so if you make a fire with your um, with your uh, with a lighter and matches, like you get the basic points. But if you make fire with a bow drill, then you get more points. See what I'm saying? There comes two giant center consoles. If it's a year's salary, I'm in. <laughs> no, it's based on Super Chat, man. The more Super Chat we get, the more the payout is. I'm going to mute it so I don't get as... All right, the show's over. <laughs> Man, I don't have any problem with people having fun, blasting their music, and whatever. At least they passed within a safe distance this time. If I start my fire with my wife's hair and a nutty bar. <laughs> That's funny. Catfish got COVID six feet apart. <laughs> I tell you what, some place to spawn is not on is in DC, man. They those guys have been tearing it up. 
I saw a part of the um, yeah rock by baby I saw a part of the glizzy masters yesterday and Bex and Steven were just nailing them left and right more points with smoke signals <laughs> oh man that yeah and chunky his last few streams they've been tearing it up has mark mm. real nice catfishing in washington dc at this month she always says her hair is thick and heavy <laughs> p city said he ate the glizzies Oh, I just want a rod to go down. Come on, rod. Come on. Somebody eat something. There's got to be one hungry catfish in this river. Just one. The only other place I think we could go is the creek, but man. I don't want to move again. Anna says she don't want to move again. It's <laughs> too cold. She's too cold. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Josh, I didn't think they spawned until June, but I guess it is almost June. Yep. Tuesday is June. Not in the blizzard of hula grass. Yeah, I know. Ugh. We don't have the... We just... I don't know. Cool watching your problem, though. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe just the environment, you know, we have a lot more grass, a lot more trees, and catfish are still. <laughs> Is the Iron Cat Challenge only to people with YouTube channels, or can anyone sign up? Um, it's just YouTube channels, but I mean, you have a YouTube channel, you're commenting right now. But really, though, one of the, one of the purposes of the Iron Cat competitions is to promote smaller channels so yeah right now that's what it is i missed a couple more questions when you say they open up the dam are you asking what do i mean um they just they they generate power they turn on the turbines to uh generate power is what i mean so that causes current that's rough no matter where you are yeah The grass ain't no joke. Nope. Hey y'all, how's the fishing? Hey Bex, I was just talking about you. Bex. The fishing is terrible. We got one though. We didn't get skunked. It was a nice one. It it hit really hard and screamed to drag out. It was only 15 pounds, but it was a good. It put on a good show. Mm hmm. But then the you know we didn't get any more bites or anything, so we moved out here in the main channel, and uh, we've been stricken with grass, stricken with lots of grass. Update, please. Is the wife still ahead of you? Yes, she is. I win in. Greetings from Mooresboro, North Carolina. Jeff Murray, what's up, Jeff? Um, so the Iron Cat Bank Challenge will open up this Friday. So I'll I'll make a post about it, but I know there's a lot of bank anglers that want to get in there. So make sure that you're paying attention. It'll probably be Friday morning. Did you catch that one with the one of the new reels? No, it was not a new reel. It was a piece of fun on the blue cat rod. I used to try to power through it, but learn my lesson. So you're saying we should move. <laughs> yep, they're just cruising. I think we should move one more time. Uh, I think we should move one more time. 
All right, we're gonna move one more. I can't thumbs up until I witness a catch. Well, oh, oh, Villa, you missed it. <laughs> we're gonna reel up and try to go find you that catch. Turn off the clicker. much here as there was in the other class. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna go down river a little ways. Where's the uh, remote? Right here. Beep! Here you go, hang on to our people. Okay.
like the spaceship from Independence Day. Alright, so we got a no wig zone. We're gonna go through this zone, and on the other side of the zone, there's a little corner that I've always wanted to try. So we's gonna try it for the first time. We're passing Robbie. Robbie's over there somewhere. Got 81 people hanging with us. Eighty and seventy-nine. <laughs> 152 thumbs up. Got a hundred and three dollars in super chats. Yes, we're leaving the hula grass storm. That grass is a nightmare. Hello, Ace. Anna's going back through the chat. Thanks, Rex, for posting links. Appreciate that. We're probably missing a bunch of our normal crowd tonight because we're out fishing. That's okay. I think some beer and hulas <laughs> are fun Sunday night. <laughs> Epic said, I believe y'all were talking about Mr. Kid. Um, Epic said, I believe that's what Benjamin Franklin told Tom McCann about his two lives, Mr. Kid. <laughs> if your face was everything, including your safety, you're feeding a part of in your aptitude. Grass what? tones are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey Bill of Rights, what's going on? No, we've we've been started. We got one fish. But uh we just hadn't had too much luck tonight. We got out and immediately thank you man, I appreciate that. <laughs> um <laughs> Epic's on a roll tonight, boy. Right? Um we got a great start. We got a, Anna caught a bunch of brim and caught a catfish for about 25 minutes and then nothing. And then we moved to the second spot and it's just been plagued by what Epic's calling hula grass. <laughs> I call it Cooper River coleslaw. Yeah. This current is booking it. We're at idle speed, and you see how fast we're passing these houses yep. in this no wake zone. Pink is my favorite color. I think I'm going in that little corner right there. What do you think? It's in the shade, though. <laughs> Anna is keep holding me tight to this deadline, this nine o'clock deadline. It's cold. She's cold. I told you though. I told you before we left you're gonna get cold. You said it is very well, pretty. I gotta work tomorrow too. I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all tell Anna, we made money today. We got hundred three dollars in super chat. <laughs> you, that, you know what that pays for? Olive's medicine. It pays for Olive's medicine. Yep, that's right. <laughs> it's the equivalent of Olive's medicine. Exactly. It doesn't pay for Olive's medicine. It's the equivalent of Olive's medicine. It pays for boat gas. Get her a blanket. Listen, I'm not going to say nothing else because she came out here in shorts and I was like, you sure you want to wear shorts? My legs aren't cold. It's my neck and my head. 
Oh, yeah. your neck and your head. I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> I'm not picking on you. <laughs> She's getting cranky. Mr. Marilla, the great thing about catfish is <laughs> at least it's not raining and she's not soaking wet in a hot dog costume. Yeah. I want to come on here for the rain. No, that's what Bex was doing yesterday. She was in a hot dog costume. Oh, All right. Yeah. Let's do a need for speed anchor. Start a campfire, Chad said. <laughs> I'm a lot of piece of chicken on fire. Need for speed anchor job. Well, there's definitely some structure down there because that anchor hung pretty quick. I'll see what it's going to do to us, though. Ernie said, Anna, not everyone has a desk to sleep on at work. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, do not. I think he's talking about me. All right, what are we going to do, anchor? We're going to do what I want. It is doing what it wants. Snacks? Gummy time. Gummy time. So, as you can see, we got lots of swirls and stuff here, lots of turbulence. I don't know, does this look like a good spot, Epic? Got a nice ledge coming off. We got turbulence in the water. A whole bunch of turbulences. I gotta figure out what my rod's gonna do if I throw it in though. That's a lot of turbulence. Let's see what happens. That would be awesome. I think the front end of the boat's got to swing around though. It's just kind of st sticking here. It's just kind of weird. Oh, Kevin, you'll catch a fish like usual. If you aren't in the Olive Garden salad storm. <laughs> Man, he's a veritable thesaurus tonight. He's he's a thesaurus. Thesaurus Rex, yeah. Alright, cool. Let me get another rod here. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to make I'm about to make Tim Scott very happy. There you go, Tim.
That's deeper than I thought right there. That's good. Yeah, now the boat wants to spin. Did I put a live bait in? Kevin, I've gone blurry. Am I blurry on yours? Could be. I've never streamed here before. Pretty deep. How deep is it? <laughs> oh, the back anchor let loose. That's what happened. All right, our back anchor came loose. What's up, Eddie Saldana? We gotta let that back anchor hang again. Come on, baby. Come on. Steve? Is it any luck? Uh, define luck. <laughs> no, we got one one fish. Oh, and a lot of a lot of grass. So we're trying to um, get anchored up in our final spot for the night. Just had a transporter right now. Can't be lackadaisical, Kevin. I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to work hard. Creole, what's going on? No, cause Anna's here. <laughs> About spoony right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this live bait out here again. Got a live, live BG right there. Brandon Gray wants to know where you're fishing in. I am fishing in the Cooper River on in South Carolina new spot never tried this spot i'm hoping that the grass won't be as bad seems really deep yeah. solid yeah <laughs> Oh, gonna be dope. Oh, good Creole. Hopefully you filmed it.
My love, will you hand me that other Hellcat rod? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That sure did look like a slow takedown to me. Could be promising. Okay. Hopefully it didn't rip my live bait off of there. <laughs> Alright, we got another live bait going on. Put this one in the back, please. Ooh. And then bring me a blue cat. I thought we was about to have a monster on. I guess who's to say we won't? We trying. All right, live bait number three. I'm gonna get Brown's helping me count down. He said 55 minutes. <laughs> this was your idea, remember? <laughs> You're not that cold, are you? Hey. You can get my sweatshirt. Is that back anchor let loose again? Jiminy crickets. <laughs> yeah, Ernie, what's your problem, dog? Dang. <laughs> Did it donkey bait? <laughs> There you go. Uh oh. What's that one doing? Grass. grass, freaking grass, man. All right, y'all, fingers crossed. Hola, TJ.
Hobby nerd. Mm hmm. Yeah, another reason we're not going to stay out late is because I got a whole day of fishing tomorrow. Uh oh, you're going to the grocery store and you're hungry. Don't do it. Don't do it, Brian. Don't go thirsty either. Flatty time, yeah. This is a good place for a flathead. I've come by and scanned this before. And it looks very mountainous and structurized. Are those technical terms, Tim? <laughs> mm -hmm. Drink a drink a big bottle of water before you go in. Big Hook's still watching. Thanks, Big Hook. I'm trying to stay positive, trying to hope one will go down here in a minute. Do you have current seams on both sides? Yes, I do. The big current seam right here, well, right here. Avid's still here. What's up, Avid? <laughs> Either way, brother, it's always good. Yeah, yeah. It is beautiful. You know, it's easy to take for granted the beauty of where you're at. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to go live tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to go to the lake tomorrow with my cousin. Turbulence to monetize, structurized. <laughs> God is good. Yes, Chris. I'm going to go to the lake tomorrow, and the lake, I'm going to go to the upper side of Lake Moultrie and fish on the rocks. So we're going to try to, um, try to put him on a fish. He's never, he's never caught a big, I don't think he's ever caught a catfish. You can't leave your, your fan behind. <laughs> I'll try. I mean, shoot, I don't mind. We'll try. I'm going to go up there and um, anchor anchor a little bit in the morning and drag some baits. TJ just bust out laughing in the storm. I stayed at a Holiday Inn once. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. If you're in here for the first time, we usually do catch fish. <laughs> we do catch fish most times. The pressure of the live stream gets to those fish sometimes, you know. They don't know how to react. <laughs> they get camera shy. Captain's Log, 5.30, Kevin has moved to into uncharacteristic deep water and effectively deployed. <laughs> <laughs> cerveza, cerveza, por favor. <laughs> What's up, wild turkey? That's right, freedom was not free, it is not free. <laughs> we are structurized and current seamerized. Hey, hey Jack, we're doing all we can. We just need these fish. <laughs> Start at 5.30. These need these fish to come on out these holes here and grab hold of one of these baits. I think this. Ooh, what's up, moonlight fishing? Dag blasted fish need to cooperate. I know, right? Did someone say cerveza? <laughs> Sounds like some people have had some cervezas. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I've always wanted to try this spot. I just never do for whatever reason. Um, but it seems perfect. You know, it's it's in a corner where the current hits the corner. It's um, you know, it's got it's got structure. It's got logs down here. It's coming off of a bank. Um. 
current seams. So something's down there creating these seams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I'm, and, and I could just be uh could just be in the right spot at the wrong time. But if that's the case, then all these spots are bad. <laughs> all the times are bad. <laughs> Fair enough. John, she just read your comment. Thanks for that. Hopefully we can get two fish. <laughs> We're only on one fish right now. All it takes is one. So, Tim, the um, the brim species is not a soft-tailed fish, correct? One good fish makes the trip. Yep. Well, I mean, we had one one good one. We need one really good one. <laughs> yeah, I did buy some glizzies for us tomorrow. I got some glizzies to fish with tomorrow, and I have some glizzies to uh, grill tomorrow. Uh oh, this line just went slack. What happened? Get ready. What's up, Matthew? Boom! No skunk fun. Creole. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're not skunk, thankfully. This line just did funny stuff. T-buns and glizzies with P-City. You're never going to be able to get across South Pacific. No. Always going to be Disney. South Sages. Got to get the first fish. Got to get his first fish on live. Who's that? Sometimes it's not even about the fish, it's about fellowship. Yep. Sure is, CBC. Lots of little current seams. Oh, yeah. Okay, my cousin. Well, I mean, if we had service out there, I don't mind going live. What's up, wait for Bob? Yeah, if y'all are coming in looking looking for the show, Brim are definitely that soft raid, raid fish. If you come in looking for the Palmetto Cat show, we're out here live today. I got my honey, but she's back here cold. She's down here. It is chilly. This is our fourth and final spot for the night. We're either going to catch one here or, or we're done. We caught one in the first spot within 25 minutes. And it, it hit it hit really hard. It was really satisfying fish to catch. Yep. And I got to pull it in. Yep. Speaking of cervezas, <laughs> I think these guys have probably had a few. <laughs> Drink responsibly, my friend. Yeah, it dropped into the 50s these past few days. Isn't that crazy? I know. 50s before the whole month was so warm. Yeah, I know Chad was to boom. 199 P City Glizzy. <laughs> she needs an enclosure. Yes, that is that is in the books for this winter. I am saving up 
um, YouTube revenue and super chats and all kinds of stuff to buy that. It's gonna be about two grand. Um, it's either that or a new fish finder. And uh, even though with the with a new side imaging and new graph, I could find probably more fish. I'd rather be comfortable doing what I'm doing now. Ten years from now, Kevin will be staring at the water with the squint in his eye. He'll be obsessed with catching the Santee monster. <sighs> yeah. He's still moving a little bit. I think I'm going to put him closer up on the bank, though. Put him in the shadows. Move everybody over one notch here. All right. Not third, the green one. Not third, the green one. What's she say? All that grass is pain. Third rod just did something. <laughs> I think, yes, yeah, Santee Cooper, it's... Cooper River Coleslaw. And they're not headed towards us, so I'm cool. What's up, two stands? That's another good point about this spot. It's in the no wake zone. Although a pontoon we pass, or that was, uh, what's up, Uncle Lou? I think you were here earlier. Yeah, you were. Not sure what's going on over there. Gabe and I will be listening while we vacuum seal some skipjack. Ooh, man, you did have a good trip, didn't you? That's awesome. A two stands. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up, y'all. We got 162. Okay, what's going on today? I did a stand day from the studio. Palmetto's out on the water. Yep. <laughs> yep, Anna wanted to go night fishing. And um, so we went night fishing. Since I don't, I don't have to work tomorrow. I'll be safe. All right, Ernie, thanks for watching, man. Thanks for watching. Hopefully... We got, let's see, we got about a half an hour left and hopefully we'll have one take one down by then. Hmm? They might have, be having engine troubles. Uh oh. That one just got bumped. Come on. Come on, White Rod. It's getting nibbled on. Something's nibbling. I hope it's not a blue crab. Ugh. Something's wiggling it.
Mm-hmm. Dag blasted dink. <laughs> it could be. It could be a little one or it could be. We do have blue crabs. Usually don't have too much of a problem with them in this current, but, you know. Motor wren, what? <laughs> That's grass on that one. Got a little cabbage pack grass. The price is right. Is that what you say, Robbie? What did you say? The the price tonight. What's your price for flight? No blue crab for night. Yes, they do catch them for food. They have to be five inches from point to point on their shell. Mm -hmm. You made it out safe, Brian B. <laughs> you didn't buy the whole store, huh? Blue crabs are great for bait. You destroyed some blue crab two weekends ago. My only thing about blue crab is you just need you need a lot, See, and you work hard. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yep. It is good. What's up, Mindy? Yeah, Anna's here too, Mindy. I'll show her to you. She's back here, chilling and chilling. She's chilly. Chilling and freezing. <laughs> We're just hoping a big blue cat or a flathead comes cruising by here. And shoot, even if they're not hungry, if they just open their mouth, ah, <laughs> and swim into the hook, that would be awesome. Blue crab is more of a social food. That's true. Yep, Brandon's got a good point. Yeah, like oysters and and uh, even shrimp, like peeling shrimp. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love me a good low country boil. With them, with them, oh, crawfish are another, crawdads, that's another good food. I said crawfish and Creole's like, huh, what do you say? <laughs> what did I see? What did boy, 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 what did boy say? <laughs> No, just give me sold Old Bay and a sprinkle of blue crabs. <laughs> you need some garlic in them crabs, too. Need that garlic. I just need to ride and go, wham! Slam down. We're going backwards. Why are we going backwards? <laughs> Our boat was just going backwards against the current somehow. There's too much turbulence over here. <laughs> There's too much turbulence. It would be nice to see a slow takedown. Just a nice steady bend all the way down. I wanna catch a I wanna catch one on one of these a big one on one of these um Hellcat rods and test them out. Swamp monster grabbed the anchor. <laughs> Maybe there's a piece of chicken on the anchor and the biggest flathead ever grabbed a hold of it. <laughs> Ain't got hit again. That's old red. Old red is the lucky rod on the boat. You were waiting on that yesterday, Brian B. Yeah. Seems to be. It seems to be when you wait on it, like, it, and you're waiting for it to happen, it never does. And then you're like busy, like talking to a camera or adjusting something, and it goes. <laughs> it takes off. Either one, I would appreciate. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Brian B. Me too. Yeah, some of y'all had some tough fishing. Oh, Bexy Bexy and Stevy Stevy really had a good day yesterday, didn't they? They paid for it though. I mean, they had some bad weather. <laughs> I don't know. We 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 were wet that one day when we did the glizzy and the, I mean the chicken boobies. But we were dry though. Fish in the upper lake. Awesome. I'll be fishing Lake Moultrie tomorrow. As soon as you start messing with your phone, take down. <laughs> in that chicken foot video I put out, I know not, not peop many people watched it, but um, the third fish I caught in that, in that, in that video, I was messing with my phone. And it starts stripping jacking. Zip, 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 zip. These guys are having a great time. Man, we might even have to bring out the light. Fished all night last Thursday. Got one run, 50-pound flat, slow in Ohio River. I know Charles Dangerfield, he's, um, Bex, I was not, Bex, y'all showed out. <laughs> um, a guy that fishes Santee around where I fish was telling me on Low Country Entertainment for free. <laughs> he was telling me that he had one hit so hard, it about broke his reel, but it pulled the hook because he didn't have the drag set right. Yeah, that's that's one that hurts even more than changing your leaders. Fish usually bite on a giveaway. <laughs> nice one, Jeffrey. <laughs> so Jeffrey's going to give something away. Jeffrey, why don't you tell us what you're giving away? We'll wait. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are doing. They keep like coming back up to the no wake and then cutting the engine off and floating. Well, we don't know if they're drinking. They might just be having a good time. Jeffrey Anzo, what are you giving away, man? Let us know. We're excited. <laughs> Is it a brand new Abu Garcia? Green one keeps bouncing. It's the white one. Finesse tournament, I'd be on the boat. Oh, they drank it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it did. I saw it that time. It went boom, boom, boom. That's that live bait. Hey, polar bear. I'm too poor. <laughs> Me too, Jeffrey. I couldn't even look at it. It goes back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop looking at it. Someone say giveaway? <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey said he was going to give something away, Uncle Lou. I don't think anything's on there. Hmm. 
I mean, that is a live bait. Who knows? Back in the water he goes, back in the water he goes. What's up, by and bottom feeders? Cooper River cabbage, yep. So that's a live bait. That is a four ounce lead on a, uh, a pole with soft, a soft tip. And partridge in a pear tree. And partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> A two stands, the magic hour approaches. I'm hoping the magic hour is like now. <laughs> Anna said, um, I need that magic hour to happen now, please. Oh yeah, Anna's watching that clock now. Once nine o'clock hits, y'all, we gone. <laughs> Oh, fireworks, not a gun. Oh, that's cold. Found something. All right, there's a fish. It. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. No, you're fine. Oh. Keep it, keep it right there. Oh yeah. He's hung now, dadgummit. Standing his ground. I feel him. He'll give up eventually. There he goes. Fish on, y'all. Fish Yay. on. Well, I don't feel them no more. There he is. Right here. Yes, little blue one. He ate that live bait. Yep. Like a champ. He did. Look at that. Nah. All right. He's no record, but he's a fish. Yes, persistence oh, paid off. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> Villa said now he can hit the thumbs up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. There he goes. Next year he'll be yeah. 20 pounds. Yep. He ate. I just threw that bait out. Yeah. Woohoo. Yes. <laughs> As so, yeah, sandwich and salad for that one. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the angle of the camera was so bad. Apache Adventure said thank you for your kitty cat girl. <laughs> favorite sounds. Wow, I was lagged real bad. Hopefully, you saw the fish. All right, that has inspired me to recast <laughs> other lines. 
that won't happen because why boat rolls i get the next yep pull. that's a tiebreaker uh, that's what they're talking about I got nervous there when he got hung up on that whatever down there, that log. I was like, you have got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> Here comes our friends again. That was the uh, medium Hellcat run. Sorry about the soundtrack, y'all. Well, let's Beck say, yeah, that was a pretty <laughs> mountainized and structurized there. Yes, yes, it was. Scientifically proven to catch fish. Having a great time. It's having a good old time. On this one. That's the one that got picked up. Yep, this is the crab. Oh, you got it. Oh, Villa. Oh, Villa. Boom! That, that goes towards my Anna calling in sick, Now I can't call in Uh oh, uh oh. Might be grass, though. Mud Motor Posse. <laughs> I don't think she's going to do that. Here, hand me that rag, please, ma'am. But <laughs> now nah, she's miserable back here. <laughs> so I don't know about where y'all live, but there's this trend in like pre 20, like 18, 19, and then like 25. Boo! Please, Anna, 199 PC. <laughs> Um, that they, they take these um, duck boats with these mud motors and they trick them out with like stereo systems and, and neon lights and they just come out here and they just they don't fish, they don't hunt they just ride them around yeah it's kind of like a car that's been lowered to the ground you know like it really doesn't serve any other purpose but looking cool and and playing music Thank you for the super chats, y'all. Appreciate that. We're up to $124.88. Pimp my boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to think of. 
I don't have any problem with the stereos. I mean, just I don't have any problem with it whatsoever. It's just a trend that I'm seeing. It's a weird trend. That's all. Cruising on the water. Yep. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like a lot of people that use their boats just cruising on the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ain't no problem with that. I mean, dang. Lowered just the black. Just the front up. <laughs> oh, lowered just the back. Jack the front up. Ah. Oh. The summer I made quote some Jaws in my videos. <laughs> they had a duck run in Sparkleberry Swamp yesterday. They probably watched Chunky Cats fishing. <laughs> <laughs> They need some more black lights. <laughs> you gonna turn that black light on? See the light? Oh, 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 oh. This, this pole's getting hit. The chicken's getting hit. Come on, fish. Come on, do it for the people. Do it for the people. The people want to see it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to get dark enough for the black light. One of these weekends this summer, I'll do a um, I'll do a couple all-nighters. We can test out the black lights and everything. Black lights. That's just I'm just happy we caught another fish. <laughs> oh man. I'm just happy. Yeah, Epic, you know how I feel. What do you say? If you haven't subbed to Epic yet, what are you waiting for? Come on, somebody has to go live. I'm having a blast. <laughs> you got to get squeaky chicken like Dieter Melhorn. <laughs> oh. Boom, $2.99 from Wilson. <laughs> $9.99, sorry, for catching one while I was here. I'm so happy I could do that. <laughs> so happy I could help you with that. I got 100 people in here, 177 thumbs up. We're now up to $134.87. All it took was a fish to get people livened up. Imagine that. All it took was a fish. Come on, fish. Yes, boom booms. The cat's in the cradle in the silver spoon. <laughs> Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you come back, fish, I don't know when. We'll have a good time then. Boom, I need a big takedown. The boat's doing weird stuff again. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a little drink about an hour ago and it went right to my head. Yeah, we're still fishing, Steve. Motoring! Now, nah, I didn't break fruit, fruit loose. Fruit loose! <laughs> Foot loose! Turn on your catfish shoes, pretty please, blue cat. <laughs> the sun is going down. Whoa. We really spinning now. Great googly moogly. Never lost anchors holding this boat. Hmm. We need a take down. We need a to grab the bait and run away. Flathead or blue, please. Great! Googly moogly! If anybody hadn't hit the thumbs up, now's the time to do it. It's the popular thing to do. Everyone's doing it. 
Who asked that? I can't do another man's call. Can't do it. Plus, nobody can do it like Has Life. Yeah. Only Has can do that. But I can say, Motor Red! What's the price for a bite? City Glizzy said he's having a great time. You want to spool that one? I hope. <laughs> I got the uh, I got the rocket right there, Steve. Hadn't caught a fish today, but we trying. Pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever been to this spot and we caught a fish out of it, so I call that successful. Successful. You can do the black light now. What? Alright, well I gotta get the um inverter out of there. And I'm not about to see that little kidder man's <laughs> over the top. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna try a black light. How's that look? Mm. Hang on, y'all. It's only one little black light. What's up, Brad? That's the Hellcat right there. Just one little black light. Grab that chunky rod in the back. So there's the chunky rod on the left. I feel like this light's about to fall off of here. There you go. I think the real big difference right there is that the chunky rod, the eyes are painted on the chunky rod. Oh, that's true. So it's really reflecting back. Let me see if this makes any difference.
So now that's only one little black light bar though. Chunky's rod is definitely standing out a lot more. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this one's getting hit. The non-neon one. Come on, take it. All right, honey. Ah. Probably a crab. Rod shines bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> but that's a Hellcat that's close to me so the closest one to me right there that's just a big cat fever white rod that's it and then the next one is a Hellcat rod what's up Vani Pantaloons which honestly The only thing lighting up on that Hellcat, that's the line. This isn't a great test, though. It's not a great test. But the chunky rod with this light definitely has the Hellcat beat. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> chunky said that chunky rod looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does, Chunky. Man, can we do a live movie watching party with Jaws? <laughs> pull, pull, left side, left side, I know, it's it's grass. It's on the top of the water. Gotta love that grass. Y'all can't see me, but y'all don't want to see me anyway. Y'all want to see them poles. We got two minutes to catch a fish. <laughs> two minutes. Unless Anna's going to do the five more minutes thing. She said no. <laughs> she's cold, y'all. And she's got to work in the morning. I got to wake up early, too, because we're, um, we're going out to the lake tomorrow. I don't know. He hasn't texted me yet. Or maybe he has, but been on the phone. 
This is a good view of you, Kev. <laughs> P City. P City Glizzy. How about now? <laughs> Come on, fish, you got one minute. Can't see you, but I love to hear you. Motoring! <laughs> What's the price for fly? Ooh, I got an echo back there. Echo! Ooh. That's dangerous. <laughs> That's dangerous. No, people in the cabin love it. They're like, I didn't know we were going to get this kind of entertainment tonight. You got a glowing rod and a fat man singing as loud as he can. Mm-hmm. Mo, you mean the entire dead man's hole? <laughs> I don't know. All right, y'all, if you um hadn't hit the thumbs up, Now's the time because we about to go. I got to get my lovely lady home in bed so she can. Why not? Yep, so she can go to sleep and be warm and get ready for work tomorrow. And then I'm taking my cousin out tomorrow uh, on Lake Moultrie. And if we have service, we'll pop up live and you guys can check it out. Um, but I did want to say one more time remember. Remember, remember, this Friday is the Iron Cat Kayak Tournament. And you're going to want to watch that because you're going to have a chance to win prizes. Two sponsors are in here right now. You got um, Brad Caudo from Tidal Weights, and you got Uncle Lou, or Lee Reed from Uncle Lou's Tackle. Um, other sponsors are PC Fun, um, Never Lost Anchors, Muddy River Catfishing. Um, so make sure that you check that out. Starts at 6 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Chunky said, "Keep it, keep it going." I can stare at that chunky rod all night. <laughs> <laughs> Brad called big fish in 10 minutes. Big fish in 10 minutes. Well, y'all are gonna find them in 10 minutes. It's not big. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, y'all check it out. Um, and then this Friday, if you want to be. In the um, if you want to be in the Iron Cat Bank, woo, Bank, <laughs> Iron Cat Bank tournament, that registration opens up this Friday. I have no idea who is gonna join, but I know that the registration is gonna go quickly, and there's only eight spots. So make sure if that's something that you're interested in, you pay attention to that registration. It's gonna be on my website, shoppalmettocats.com. If somebody could drop that, it's also in the description. You can go check it out. Um, and that's where all the registration is. And it's where you'll find the rules and all the things that go along, the waivers and all that stuff. All right. Here we go. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this night out. Thank you for the beautiful cool weather and thank you for the two fish that we caught tonight. Thank you for all the people who came in tonight just to say hello. Thank you for those um, who, who were able to donate tonight, Lord. That's a huge blessing. Thank you for uh, all that couldn't be here tonight, Lord. And I just pray for those people. Uh, Lord, I pray that as we all go our separate ways, that we all stay healthy. And, and Lord, uh, probably the most of all this weekend, I just pray that we all remember those who uh, fought to protect our rights in our country in the United States, Lord, that we would celebrate them tomorrow um, as we celebrate with each other and as we participate in fellowship, cookouts, fishing, whatever it is, Lord, that we remember those who sacrificed all so that we could live free and we could do the sort of thing that we're doing tonight. Uh, Lord, I thank you for my wife and, and her willingness to support me and come out here with me. And I just pray that you would continue to bless the channel as much as you have because uh, we do it for you. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. Until the next time, happy... F oh, man, we're only seven away from 200. Oh, well.
We gots to go. <laughs> See y'all. Happy fishing.